what time is it? A. I can't press. I can't press A. Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job, and now the job is over. What? There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data that I, that on you that I can. I still don't really know you. You don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. <laughs> I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyways. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games weren't meant to be played alone. Were meant to be played alone? I don't think so. You like being alone, don't you? No. <laughs> Maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. Okay. There is still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little more time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's fun. Okay, so I'm going to go back because I think I messed up on the new content thing. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to fix it. Don't worry. Oh crap, we've frozen. Did we freeze? Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. That's still it's a more hole. of a concavity or even a very aggressive divot. Yeah. All right. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know it's not going to be a good thing. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. All right. Bye. There's got to be a way to get out of this, right? I still have the bucket. Hello? I just got like huge chills on my arm. <laughs> I don't do well with potential horror. Like at all. No horror. Remember the sorrow virus? Wasn't even scary. Couldn't couldn't play it. Like I need to finish it. I want to finish it because I don't want to just leave it open ended, but Well Ah, we're sinking. Where are we going? I'm hearing... Hearing interesting music. Press G? No? <laughs> what is going on? Bye! I'm so terrified that... Like, I'm gonna look up and see somebody looking at me. But I really do think that they, they did their best to make sure that... Stanley is the only person in the game. I have to change your perspective. What? I see Stanley now. What? <laughs> oh my god, that's what Stanley looks like. No way. Where am I going? <laughs> Gene G to change your perception. Sorry, what? Oh! Okay. H to change your reality. Oh my god! Oh god! Puppies! Yes! Yes! <laughs> no, 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 where are the puppies? Bring the puppies back! Bring the puppies! Oh, they're eating! Jay to change yourself? What? Whoa! <laughs> this is. Oh my god, this is the great. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh god, no. I'm I'm 
de, de dimensionizing. Oh god. Oh, I'm one dimensional. Oh my god, what am I now? Oh, did I go through all of them? Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. Yeah. Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley. <laughs> Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused but on the hole? I was enjoying my new reality. From the looks of things, there were puppies. You will have many many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Am I going back down? Am I going back down? What? Where am I going? Oh, he took me out of the hole. Okay. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay. We'll do. Okay. For the Stanley Parable 2. Oh, I didn't I want to do this myself, again. Oh, what just. What do players really want? <sighs> and of course, I play role players, Jim. Then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Sorry. Otherwise, just... it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. I hit the name. button before he wanted me to. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time, let me finish okay, first. Okay, hang on. I found <clears> something different. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> it's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Yes. Get out of here. All right. I'm Thank done you. with this button. All right, well, cool. You I found a way to bypass all the... a different feature that I worked very hard on. Ah, shut up. It's a button that says Jim. You didn't work very hard on that. What's that? Settings World Champion. Oh, wait a second. I think I have to get the, the achievement. I think if I get the achievement... Hang on. I think I do. I think I have to change this each setting. So everything's been zero, everything's been one, everything's been two, three, four, all the way up to a hundred. And that's how you get the achievement. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'm fine. Let's get back and check on the hole. And if there's nothing there, we're gonna get out of here and we're going to continue with the Stanley Parable 2. Um, I don't know if this is the second, uh, what's it called? The second, um, oh, it's closed. All right, good. All right, because I didn't really do that again. But um, yeah, I, I left too early last time. Uh, luckily, it remembered some of the things that I did. I didn't have another collectible to go get. I didn't get any more jumps in the jump circle. Um, so now I'm, I'm just headed out of here. And maybe the story will progress, but yeah. So last time I got in the hole, I was like, oh, I'm stuck in the hole and there's nothing I can do because that would be something this game would do. Like, if you've seen the serious room ending. Or All the... right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yes. Ready to move on now? What's this? Oh, God, that's creepy. Is this the exit? Oh, boy! Okay. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single yeah. coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together okay. and we'll see whether or not I'll it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> um well, um, I mean there's potential here, right? It's sort of no, like okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Let me go get the collectible. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. <coughs> Here we go. Version two. Oh God. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. 
There's two Infinity Holes. I wanted more than anything to They're create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original stand ah! parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision see... and integrity of the original game. But I actually see, like, background of how he's going, going through making this. I suppose this. it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. I can't believe a I got to see Stanley's face. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh boy! Okay, we're finally here. It looks like. Uh, oh boy! Oh no! If I quit the desktop right now, was I supposed to beat all of the Stanley, the, the original Stanley Parable first? This looks like it's gonna be scary. I don't do well with scary. Okay, there's a door. We're going through this door? Why is everything red? Oh, it's gonna be the same. Ish. Okay. This is the story of a man named okay. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company ah! in a big building <laughs> where he was employee number 427. <laughs> employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Okay. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day. Was I supposed day, to read that? Every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every right moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Ooh! Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, <laughs> call a meeting, Happy or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. So, for those of you that maybe... Ah, oh, it's red! For those of you that may be a little confused, um, the happy birthday... The happy 12th birthday step-niece belongs... All of his co-workers were gone. Here because what could it mean? I went Stanley back and decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And clicked... Ah, oh, it's the bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. That's right, Stanley picked up the bucket. Why is there so much? What's this door? This door wasn't here before, was it? Maybe it was. Okay. Ah, room 416's back. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket <laughs> tightly to his chest and entered the door on okay. his left. And entered the door on his left. Okay. I'm so happy I have a bucket now. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort <laughs> now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Okay. Uh, now let's just go. The door opens this way. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. It does? You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? What? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. Where, is it? Where did I put it? I can really feel it now. There's a spot. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. 
I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion yeah, I'll try to and lifelong bucket. friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has hey. sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never! <laughs> Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Okay, so how long do I have to stay in here until I get more dialogue? Is the light going to start flickering in the... Next thing I know, okay. the is going to be gone. I got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Ah! There. Now it's settled. No more debate. Yeah! No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, Actually. with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Something's got to be coming. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Let's try it. Yeah! See, I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Mm -hmm. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. <laughs> there really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. That's you can right. stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. I love that the bucket is actually a very important part, or a very key, uh, whatever I'm trying to say. So part of the story now. Alright, let's, alright, on with the story. Except, wait a minute. There's a broom closet! I'm gonna go in the broom closet! Oh no, he's not doing this again? Fine, whatever. Alright, let's go up to the boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Yeah. Oh! I can actually go in the executive bathroom! Ah, it's a collectible! One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure <laughs> of a job well done. Not even an you achievement. can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment that? you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Whose face is that? <laughs> Extreme bathrooms. Time. And it's a clock. Time magazine. Money in the morning. Money and money in the morning. Money in the evening. Money for breakfast. Money, Chris. Money, Chris. I feel like that would be Mr. Krabs' song. Money, money, this, money, money, that. This is a lot of SpongeBob references I can make. What's, what's back here? No? Oh, okay. I could go in the executive bathroom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was Let's once see. again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Yes. Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. Yes. This is certainly the most <laughs> logical explanation. Ah, it's a ah. Another yeah! This um, 
You know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Awesome. All right, let's head down is the only option. This was so worth it. This was worth the like twenty dollars or whatever this purchase was. I don't even remember, but crap, it's seven ten. All right, I'm gonna get through this, and I'm gonna try. The and... elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. I love the different dialogue. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he facility. would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. I'd like to know just what the dialogue would have been had I not picked up the bucket. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. Stanley the door the behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn right, around do that. and get back on track. I'm going to do that. So, I want to just see what's different about the die because I want to go ahead and get over with. I'm going to go back out. See what he says, because the door's not shut. See if he's like, ah, you made the right choice. You, the bucket guided Stanley. But of course, Stanley and the bucket thought better okay. of it and realized they simply had too much to live for. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna get through all of this. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. My dialogue right now has been uh, very not good. It's just the a bunch of incoherent nonsense. And Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Oh no, not the bucket! Everyone in the office was being my, videotaped, monitored Where by guinea pigs. Where is this one? The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears. Oh, the bucket Stanley crying. It gently, reassuring it Five, that two, everything would be fine. Oh God. Somebody got canned, I remember seeing. Was the bucket under the mind control uh, facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? The bucket wasn't here the whole time. things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These it's questions great. raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. I wonder if the whole... No! Be... He screamed into the bucket. Into he the couldn't bucket. accept it. His own life in someone pirate. else's control? Never! I want to he see the bucket tighter. The his one friend in the entire world. Here. At this point, he could trust no one except for the be. bucket. Alright. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, We're eating, just turn working, it off. all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high five oh in my a God. way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Okay, are we done? God. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna get out of here because I've been recording for thirty minutes and I've got stuff to do. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. <laughs> Was it over? Whoa. Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. What? 
Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, okay, to support. Okay. What? What? Well, wait, what was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, <laughs> lingering in uncertainty. Nobody else can talk. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Oh no! Oh Even the no! facility itself recognized the incredible overboard. calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket, or go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Okay. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Oh. Where is this taking me? I don't have the bucket! All of his co workers. I don't have the gone. bucket! What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting Figuring room. Fine. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. In the meeting room. Well, there's the bucket, and it's got my stickers on it. But uh, that's all the time I have for this one. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. This is. Okay. This, this is getting really good. So, uh, yeah. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Tavokin, please text me back for crying out loud. And always remember to keep it groovy.